Hi everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to solve a 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. Right, so the ground rules apply. Opposite the yellow is the white, opposite the green is the blue, and opposite the red is the orange. Right, so you need to make sure that there is a center here. So the centers are key, right, for the 3 by 3. Now, first step that you need to do to solve a 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube is to make a yellow daisy, which is the yellow in the center and white in the four sides, right? Not in the corners, in the four sides. So one we have already here. I'm just going to use, you know, basic logic and try to bring this here. I'm just going to see another one. Yeah, this one here. So I'm going to bring that here. And I need to find another yellow, which is here, right? I need to bring that over here. So I'm just going to twist it like this and then bring it up here. So I have a yellow daisy, right? And once I have the yellow daisy, what I need to make next is the white cross. So you just need to make sure that the centers here kind of align before you do the next step, just blue. So I need to bring the center as blue. And then I need to twist it 180 degrees, right? And here again, I have the yellow and I'm going to bring this yellow here and I'm going to twist it 180 degrees, right? Same thing for here. I'm just going to bring the green to here and then twist it 180 degrees. Again, I need the red to align with the red here and I'm going to twist it 180 degrees. Now, if I look at the opposite side, you will see that you have a yellow white cross and you will see that the centers are aligned here as well, right? So this is like a good place to be. Now I need to align the corners of this place to uh, solve the first layer. So Rubik's Cube is always solved layer by layer. So I need to find where the corners are. Now let's just see where the whites are. So I have one white here. So I need this to the bottom. So I'm just going to twist it like this. Bring it to the other side and bring it up. And you see that I have here a uh, orange and a blue. So you need to see where this position is. Whereas this is the yellow side, orange side, and this is the blue side. So this is in its correct place. Like now, if I need to bring this on the top, there's one move that you need to do. One move is that you need to move this away from it, what it has to go. Bring this down, bring it here. And you see that this corner is now corrected. You have the orange and the blue put right right now i have the green and the red and white here which needs to actually be here right it needs to right go up here and it's now aligned in this right position now if what i need to do is move it away bring this down bring it aligned and then bring it up now you see this is in its right corner now i need to fix two more corners and i'm going to see how it goes now this is again the red its position i need to bring this up here so i need to move it away i need to bring this down fix the white and bring it up now the, the last one and this is already in its correct place right i need this to go up here so i'm going to move it away and bring this down bring it up here and then you see that the first layer of the rubik's cube is actually solved here and this is a good place to be right and now I need to solve the second layer. So now it's an easy method now you need to choose. Now you see that this orange and green actually needs to go. I'm going to align it with the green. I'm going to see which side it has to go to. So if you see this is green and this is orange. So this orange and green has to actually go here. Right. So align this green with this, the middle green. And then what you have to do is this next step. You need to look at this algorithm. You need to move it away from where it has to go. This has to go here. I'm going to move it away, move it away and then bring this white side down. I'm going to bring that back in its place. I'm going to make the white go back into its place. I see this yellow or this white is not in its place. Now I need to bring this corner back to where it has to come back. So I'm going to do the same move that I did earlier. I'm going to move it away bring this down bring it up and then now if you see that orange and green that was down here is in its place and it's you know it's gone to the right corner here now i need to do this step to everything so that i get the second layer fully aligned now for example this orange and blue now orange and blue needs to go to this side so you see the blue is in this side and so this needs to go here right so i need to again do the same step i need to move it away from where it has to go bring down the white bring this back and bring up the white 
and then now you what you have to do is bring this white back in its place i need to do the same step that we did the first to fix the first layer and bring that up if you see the orange and red in its place right i need to look for more things now this right this is an uh, red and a green and this red and green needs to really go here right this is a green side and this is a white red side so i need to do the same stuff i'm going to move it away i'm going to bring this down and then bring it back up and bring white in its place and bring this white back in its place which is to move it away from its place bring that side down bring back the white and bring it back into its place now if you see almost all of them is in its place except one and that is here right so i'm going to bring this to blue i'm going to align it with the blue again it has to go here so i'm going to move this side away from where it has to go bring down the white bring this back and bring it up and then if you see i need to bring this white back in its place so i need to do the same move that we did to fix the first layer which is move it away bring it down bring this back up and then back in its place now if you see our first two layers are done right now it's the last layer and we're really lucky here now we already have a yellow cross so there is a move that we need to do to make this a yellow cross but we've been very lucky so but i'm going to show you that move anyways which is uh, called the clock face clock uh, algorithm right in the face clock algorithm you need to do this you need to bring you need to rotate your face once here right and then okay i'm just going to uh, see so you might have multiple situations for this you might have a just a yellow here you might have a yellow l or you might have a yellow horizontal or like this you might have a yellow cross so if you have a yellow cross you don't have to do this step but i'm going to just show you so that you know right so when you have a center or you have a yellow l uh, if you have a yellow l you need to have face that one down and one to the right or else you have to hold the yellow if you have a yellow line it has to be horizontal to you right so keep that face like that and then you have to do this algorithm you need to bring your face right up right and then bring this up okay bring it back bring down the right bring this back and then you see that the white is here you need to align that back and just rotate the clock right so you have you will you will have to do this step till you get the yellow cross for example now i have a yellow l so the line facing down and the line facing right i need to rein the cube like that and i need to do that face clock algorithm which is right and to move it up right move it left i need to bring this down i need to bring that up and then you see that yellow L just needs to go back. So I need to rotate the face. If you see, I have a yellow line, right? So yellow line. When you start with the yellow line, yellow line horizontal to you. You need to keep your face like this. And then you need to do that algorithm again. Face clock, right? Bring up the right. Bring this back, right? Bring down the right. Bring this back. And you have that horizontal. You need to bring that back. So it's the yellow cross. So if you see this, this is a yellow cross. And this is where you have to be. Now, once you have the yellow cross, the next algorithm is to align the T's. So what I mean by the T's is to, is like this, right? So for example, this is a T. And if you see, this is a T, right? So I have two that's already aligned as T's and I have two which is not aligned. I need to bring this also to the right alignment. So with a good side facing back and a good side facing left, you need to do this algorithm, which is... The right algorithm right 180 algorithm so just one up twice bring this down bring back the top bring this up bring back the top and then bring it back in its place so if i just try to align the t's you will see that all the t's are now aligned right so this is this is where we have to do the next one was to align the t's with the right 180 algorithm so now once you have this we need to now make sure the corners are in its place so where, what i mean by corners is that this is a orange and a green side so you need a yellow green and orange to be here and not this right so this is a wrong corner now this right this is a green and an uh red side so this is r red and blue which is also wrong and here again you have the blue and the red side and here you have the green and red and here is again the orange and this so all our corners are not in its right place so you can place this 
however you want and then you can do this algorithm right you're gonna put the left up gonna bring that back you bring up the right you know bring this back put this back bring back the right and put it back in its place now let's check the corners right so i need to check the corners this is a this is not in its place oh, no i need to align the t's and then check the corners so this is not in its place it should be an orange and a green this is not in its place this is in its right place now and this is not in its place so with a good side on the right we need to do that left algorithm again so we just bring up the left swivel it back the top bring up the right Swivel back, bring down the white, swivel back. So you get the white here and then you give it back. Now you align the teeth and you check all the corners. Now this is the right corner. This is the right corner. This is the right corner. And this is also the right corner. So we have all the corners in its right place. Now once you have all the corners in its right place, all that you have to do is align the yellow so that all the yellows face this side, right? We don't have to move any of this cube. So we have one algorithm which you have already probably done it. So we need to do that again and again to make that. So with a yellow facing the right, right? You need to arrange the cube such that the yellow is facing uh, the right. And then you do this algorithm. You need to do the right 180 and the left 180 algorithm. So you need to bring up the right, swivel the top twice, bring down the right, swivel it back, swivel up the right, bring white in its place and bring down the right. Now you need to do the one eight, well, left 180, up the left twice, bring down the left, swivel it back, bring up the right, swivel white in its place and bring down the left right now if i see again we don't have all the yellows aligned now we have one the yellow facing right we need to orient the cube like this again do the right 180 left 180 algorithm so it's like bring up the right swivel it twice bring down the right swivel back bring up the right swivel back in its place and then back and we're going to do the left 180 algorithm we're going to swivel it up bring twice back bring down Swivel it this way, bring up the right, left, and back in its place. Now let's see, we have two more corners to align. So we're going to again put the yellow on the right and do this algorithm again. Okay, right up, twice, bring down the right, bring it back. And we have the last side here. Okay, I'm gonna do this again. Do this multiple times to us to get it right. So we just need to do it with patience. I think we have the cube saw. 